Hi everyone, my name is Sydney and I'm gonna show you all a super simple and easy way to get started on your filmmaking journey. All you have to have is either an iPhone or a camera and a tripod and I'll show you all how to set it up and get started. Let's jump into the video. So to get started, what you're going to want to make sure that you have are two things, a tripod and a camera. Now, my tripod is a Manfrotto tripod. Um, you all don't have to use this brand. You can use whatever brand you want. Um, I first started off with the super simple tripod from Walmart and they all work just as fine. So what we have with the tripod is you're gonna have a plate. Now this plate is what you're gonna use to mount your camera to your tripod. So I'm gonna set this aside for now. I'm gonna show you all my camera. So right now we have my camera. It's a small Sony camera. I love this thing. It comes in handy for so many of my shoots. Um, I have some audio attached that I'm actually recording through. Now this is something separate for all you filmmaker geeks like me. You know, you just wanna have a little extra going on. You all can pick up a mic. And I have a Rode brand mic. So, once you have your camera, here is how you're going to set it up. All you need is a quarter, okay? This is my, this is, I take this quarter with me everywhere I go. Um, you know, you, you can also use a flathead um, tool, but a quarter does just fine. So you're gonna wanna take your handy dandy um, plate and you wanna look at the plate. So for my plate, it says that the lens is on one side. So you wanna make sure that you mount your camera so that it's facing the correct way that it says. So since the lens is going this way, I'm gonna make sure that I mount my camera as so. All you're gonna do is attach it and screw the base plate in. Super simple, right? And there you go. Now that your base plate is on the camera, we're going to set up the tripod. I'm gonna raise my tripod up so that it's easier for you all to see. Now this tripod comes with a few notches on it. Not every tripod has this type of setup, but mine just has two straps to open it. So I'm gonna slide that out like that. So now it's a little bit higher. So now that that's a little bit higher for you all to see, I'm going to mount my tripod. Now before I mount my tripod, I always like to use the feature that my tripod comes with. If yours comes with this feature, it's an awesome tool to make sure that you're level to the ground. You're gonna to try to get this bubble into the center ring. As soon as you have it in, you can screw it back. First you wanna unscrew. Find that center and then screw it back. Just like that, super easy. So now I'm going to slide the truck slide the base plate into the tripod. Every camera, every tripod is different, but mine just easily slips into place and it actually has a lock. So that, say if you accidentally tip your tripod over forward, it's not going to come out. Um, not every tripod has that, but that's just a feature that I have. And then you're gonna lock it on the side. The next step, on your filmmaking journey that you're going to want to know 
that every film uses, even the Academy Award winning films use this. It's called a tilt and a pan. So now that we've set up our tripod, you're gonna wanna have something called an arm. Now, if you don't have an arm, it's totally fine. All you need is your hands. Now, this movement here is called a pan. We can pan from left to right or right to left. Super easy way to get some movement going on your camera. Now, another thing you're gonna wanna do is a tilt. Now, let's say you don't have your handle, no worries, totally fine. All you're gonna need to do is unlock the tilt. Every camera is different, but mine has a little lock right here. And you just tilt. So this is a tilt down, and this is a tilt up. The great thing about having a handle is it makes it 10 times easier to get these shots. So mine, for mine, I just screw that in right there. And then I can easily pan and tilt. Super easy, right? So now that you're good to go with the camera, I'm gonna show you all how to use your iPhone because we know technology has really started to up its game recently. So the easiest thing that we can do is shoot on our iPhone. But guess what? Actual movies have been shot on the iPhone and have been in theaters, whether you know that or not. You probably already do, but um, we, I'm gonna teach you all today a super great tip on how to become a professional filmmaker with your iPhone. Crazy, right? Just wait. So I'm gonna show you all a super easy way to get started filming on your iPhone. Now what you're gonna wanna do is open your camera app and slide over to video. Now, depending on which way you want to film, I'm shooting myself, <laughs> you're going to, you have a few options here if you have a new iPhone. You can change it right here in this corner from 4K to HD. Now, 4K is really high resolution and the video will look great. The, the file size will be a lot bigger, so it's totally up to you what you choose to do. We're gonna shoot in 4K today. Now, we also have some options of frame rates. Now, this goes back to photography. How many shots are we shooting in one second? Now, older cameras like a Super 8 camera, your parents might know about that, um, will shoot in 18, 18 frames per second. So, has 18 different frames being taken, which is basically what video is. It's just photos going super, super fast. That's all it is. So. When you're choosing the type of frame rate you want, do you want it to be a little bit faster? Do you want it to be slower? Do you want it to be so fast that you can slow it down in post-production? I'm gonna show you those three different frame rates. So first we have 24. Now 24 frame, frames per second is the standard that most, um, most films use. You're usually going to see a blockbuster film being shot in 24 frames per second, especially when it's just maybe a talking scene or walking down the street, something simple, you know? Let's move up to 30. Now, 30 is a little bit different. It's not as high as the other frames, but it is usually used in television. So when you're watching your favorite TV sitcom, television show that you watch every night, it's most likely shot in 30 frames per second. Now you have 60. 60 is fun, I like 60 frames. You can easily slow down 60 frames per second. I'm gonna take a quick video so you guys can see what I mean.
60 frames is super fun because you can slow it down in post and it can be super, super smooth. Um, it's one of my favorite frames to record in and I use it all the time. If not that, I'm usually using 24. So now that you know that, you can go ahead and choose which frame rate you wanna use for your iPhone movie. Let's say you go with 24. Now the next step you guys probably already know is the record button. You guys can just go ahead and record something that you wanna watch, you want, us, you want us to see, you want the world to see, film away. Everything is at your fingertips now, so it's up to you guys on what you're gonna film, but I hope this helped. I hope you're able to learn something. I hope um, you're gonna go out there and make some great, awesome films. I'm excited to see them. See you later.